Legacy fonts and YouTube. Actually, uh, there is a file that you need to acquire, which contains a bunch of bitmap fonts from yesteryear. I've set these clocks up to demonstrate some of those fonts, some of the more unique fonts. In that file are a bunch of other files. Now the F16 files are an 8 by 16 bitmap font. These are basically a direct binary translation bit for bit. Every 16 bytes in the file is a character and most of them are 256 characters. We can convert that to a .hex file with a simple one-liner. Dash C is needed to simplify things to prevent the Bing engine swapping. It would otherwise happen. And here we are taking a chunk of the leading line to be our first four character counter for the hex file to be counting in hex. This works great for the F16 files but will not work for the F08 or F14 as you'll have at least one character and part of another for every line of output from hex dump. Therefore your counter won't match. But it's fine here. And this is the output file. Now here, uh, there's an extra line at the end. This helps avoid that because of the output of hex dump. And here we are piping it to a file in such a manner that we can see what it's piping to the file. And this way we avoid having to cat it or edit it to see what it was after the fact. That gets us our hex file. Now there's a hex2 BDF program. Unifont originally developed this. It works great for 8 by 16 fonts. You can pass a dash R and whatever the rows are in the other fonts. But it gets the BDF file slightly wrong. You will have to adjust it to make it work. The font descent and font descent are off mostly and I think a couple other parameters are off. Because it defaulted to Unifont, it will assign a Unifont name to it if you've assigned no other name to it. So we want to assign another name to it. In this case, we'll call it YouTube. And we give it our input file. And again, we're piping through T to the output file, which is a PDF file. You could just do a redirect with the greater than in this file name and not have a display on the screen, but for purposes of YouTube, I am showing it on the screen. It's slower, but probably more entertaining. But I guess we'll see. So we create our BDF file. With our BDF file, we can view it in FontForge. This is the font in FontForge. And in order to merge it in with all of our other fonts, we need to run BDF to PCF. It's like a PixMap compiled format or whatever. We get dash O in the output file. 
and then our input file. And since our fonts are generally stored in compressed format, we compress it. Let's see where it is once so we need overwrite. So we have our font converted. This is for the VGA ROM at 16, which is what you're seeing now in this terminal. Although I had to make the font three times the size. Another bash script that's a lot more complex than this one. But I do things the hard way sometimes. But once we have our font, we need to move it to where all the other fonts are. In this case, I'm just hijacking the miscellaneous folder because it's already there. So I don't need to mess with that too much. All right, and from here we need to do some other things. Right, since you gave it a prefix, actually, before we do that, if you want to just use it for next term, yeah. Can do it this route. This will this will update our fonts, so it'll be known to the system and usable in X. We can check that it's there. And there's our file, there's our font name, and there's our pixel size. Three most important parameters, although we don't need the file name most of the time to use it. Now in order to have show up in XLS fonts or XFont cell, we need a bit more trickery. We give it a prefix, so we're going to strip that off, per se. Which is, this is new. We need to rehash the table so it pulls in the new font. And run the C catch again. At this point it should be viewable in XLS fonts. And there it is. There's our font. And the Unicode assigns it the GNU by default. You can do that in the BDF file if you wanted to. It's no big deal though. But we now have the font in two different, two different forms. If we're using E term, we use like a dash F. And this XLS format type. Name, the uh, asterisks are the wild card. And this is that font in E term. If we use X term, we give it the face name. And we need to tell it what size it is, otherwise, it gets a little wacky. And to make it match, a little bit. I'm going to give it some colors. There's that font. And that's how you use it. And, uh,
quite a few fonts out there. They're not all 16, some are 14, some are 08. Now the font of old, that's 1608. That's what we're probably more used to if you grew up in the, in the four megahertz days. Except in modern monitors, pixels are square. In the old monitors, pixels generally took about two pixels horizontally to equal one pixel vertically. But quite there as far as square goes, but close enough. The VGA ROM F16, which I'm using here, it's already done the expansion, but it's also modified the font for that space. So if you want the real legacy, you need the F8, you need the balloon size, and basically all the same steps. As a result, this would still be an 8x16 font. Now the hex to BDF application mostly only works with 8x16. You can do the dash R for other options. But the BDF file will have some errors that will need manual correction. Or some inaccuracies. I don't know if you'd call them errors, but it gets a little wacky if you try to use the fonts generated directly. But that's basically how you put the font in here. And there's our YouTube font. You can also use the font forge on the on the PCF file, even when it's compressed. It'll still pull it in. If you need a reference for BDF files, there is a PCF to BDF application for that purposes, for those purposes. And in the case of this video, this is those fonts at three times the size. There's three pixels for every one pixel in the bitmap, basically. As when 1080p is scaled to 360p, it looks more natural that way. You don't have to download the full high res and scale the video and other things just to see what's going on. And that's about it. Have a good one.